Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jack, this is JTH Books, and it is time for the end of year book tag. Now, I know, I cannot believe that the end of the year is nearly here. Hasn't this year flown by? It's, it's well, hasn't been a great one, has it, for anyone really, let's be honest, but it's, it's coming to an end. We've only got a couple of months left, and um. So I have, we have six questions here. Obviously, I will link the original video down below if you would like to um, have a peruse of that. Is peruse the right word I want to use there? Peruse, have a view. Just Let's go with view. Well, I guess you could use peruse. Anyway, that was so strange. But there are six questions here. And um, this is going to be a shock to me, really, because, as you know, I'm not great with planning ahead for anything. So let's see what I want to get up to for the rest of the year. So the first question is, are there any books that you started early in the year that you still need to finish? And the simple answer for me is no. If you've been around this channel before, if you haven't, hi, welcome. Everything's linked down below if you want to follow me anywhere else. Or just search JTH Books anywhere and I'll be there. Probably quite annoyingly, but I will be there. But if you have been around here a while, you know I struggle on through. I'm not a DNF, I'm not a put it down and I come back to it. I wish I was, but it's just... It's not in my, it's not in my making. So we just struggle on through. So every book I've started this year, I have finished. So it makes me quite proud of myself, but I think all those books I've read that I didn't like and I didn't need to read them. It, it swings around about. It swings around about. <laughs> Question number two is, do you have any autumnal books that transition you towards this time of year? And the answer again is no. I am... I'm not like a seasonal reader. I, I would, you know, I would read a Christmas book and a heat wave if I wanted to read it. I just, I read what I want when I want. But I will say this time of year, it starts getting darker much earlier. I feel like there's much more time for reading. So it is the sort of time I want to read the bigger books. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see them. I have like The Covenant of Water here. I have um, Demon Copperhead. They're the kind of books I want to read this time of year. I feel like it's it's just the season you can really get into a big book and snuggle down and read it and and just get swept away. So that's that's sort of where my but that does slow down my reading because they're big. Anyway, that that's where my head is at. I'm I'm getting ready to transition transition into the bigger books. Question number three is: Is there a new release that you are still waiting for? Yes, absolutely. I'm waiting. The Heartstopper, Volume 5. They've released the cover now. I'll put it here. Just someone give it to me. Somebody give it to me right now. They're not going to give me an early copy, so I have to wait. But that comes out in December. And I'm also waiting for Emmett by Elsie Rosen. I just... That's it. I don't know what else is coming out, really. Um, but those two. Those two are the ones that I am... I know and waiting for. Like, obviously, this time of year, you know, Christmas is coming up. Um... People will be like, can you stop buying books and I can buy you them for Christmas? So I have to really rein it in. But those two, um, Heartstopper and Emmett, I'm not waiting. No, 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 I won't wait. Sorry, no. <laughs> that was weirdly strange. It was like I was telling you all off, but I wasn't, I swear, you're my friends. <laughs> Question number four is, are there three books you still want to read before the end of the year? I hate this question. I hate this question because... It's so tough just to pick three. And then I've done this, like, you know, for the media freak out tag, and I just haven't read them. So it's a bit strange, isn't it? But, so like I said, one of the bigger books I own, so I, bigger books or something that I feel like is really going to move me and has been very well received. I want to see if, like, if I agree with the people, with the people. I want to see if I agree with them. So, you know, like I said, The Covenant of Water, Demon Godbehead, or, um, the House of Doors up there, they're sort of ones that are really calling to me. So I would really like to read one of them and also have another two. I have Darius the Great Deserves Better by Adib Karam. Now, like I said, if you've watched any of the other ones I've done of these, this has been on every one. I'm pretty sure it was on last year's end of year tag. It was on this year's free cap tag. It might have been even in last year's free cap tag. I'm just scared because I love the first one so much. Even though I've heard nothing bad about this, I've heard it's just as good. But yeah. I just, it's been, it's been on every one, but I will do it. Hold me accountable, friends. Hold me accountable. I would also really like to read this poetry collection, which is There Is Still Love Here by Dean Atta. Dean Atta is absolutely one of my favourites. If you have not read the, the, the Black Flamingo, please, please read it. And this is 
his poetry collection and I've owned it for a while now and I just want to read it. I'm sort of feeling poetry at the minute, which I'm not a poetry boy, but this, oh, please, please. I just want to read it. I just want to read it. Question number five. Is this still a book you think could shock you and become a favourite of the year? And yes, yes, there is. Now, this book does not come out until February next year, but I very luckily have an early copy. And ever since I heard about this book, I wanted it. I wanted it. So it is Blessings by Chuck Waite Booker, I Bay. Now, there's something about this book. This is a queer book set in Nigeria. And I think... There are some fast, fantastic, fantastic um, queer books coming out of Nigeria lately. And I want to add this one to it. I just think this, this, this is a five-star prediction. I'm going to have to read it for the end of the year. So I just feel like this could, this, a favourite, you know, could it take number one spot? I don't know. But, it's, I, you know, if it's not in the top ten, top ten of my books for the year, I'm going to be so shocked. I will be so shocked and appalled but mainly shocked. I can I just see it there. I just see it in my little photo on Instagram at the end of the year being like. So, oh, sorry, sir. I picked it upside down. But this one, if, get it on your radar as well. You can pre-order it now. <laughs> oh, I felt like a bookseller then, which apparently wasn't good enough to be. <laughs> question number six, the final question. I know you're probably all very relieved. Is have you started making reading plans for next year? And the answer is no. <laughs> I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I don't even know what's happening tomorrow. But I would like to carry on doing the... Um, letting you all vote from the TBR jar. Again, if you have any books you want to put in the TBR jar, just comment down below. And um, doing the vlogs for those. I would just like to create more content. I would just like to see the channel grow. It feels a bit... No, I don't know... It feels like I'm not very good at this, so it's not growing, but that's just me, you know. I just I just want to do well. I just want to do well in life. But, you know, just keep going. Keep sharing books I am excited about. I just want it to be... I just want it to carry on. I hope it feels like this, that it's just me and you having a chat. I know it's not always well lit or anything like that. I just... I love talking about books. I hope you feel that, and that's what I want to carry on. So that's my plan for next year, just to keep... Being honest and genuine and carrying as we mean, uh, starting as we mean to go on. Let's start the year as we mean to go on. So, yeah, that's, I hope that's how you feel watching this channel. Imagine if you were like, no, I don't. Like, what's wrong with you? And I'll be like, someone get me a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, sorry. <laughs> so, that's it. Let me know any books you want to read before the end of the year. Let me know any of your answers to the questions. Or, as I always say, just have a chat with me. You know I absolutely love it when we have a chat. Feel free to like and subscribe because, boy, do I need it. And um, I'm going to speak to you all really, really soon.